First, let us know about the author. Rohinto Mistri is an Indian-born Canadian writer. Mistri was born in a Parsi family in Bombay in 1952. He completed a degree in mathematics and economics from the University of Mumbai before moving to Canada in 1975. Mistri started writing in early 1980s when he was pursuing a degree in English and philosophy in the University of Toronto. But fame and recognition came his way only after winning the Canadian Fiction Magazine's Annual Contributors Prize in 1985. His first collection of short stories, Tales from Feroz Shah Bagh, was published in 1987 and the work was widely accepted by the readers as well as critics. In the fiction of mystery, one can find a realistic depiction of everyday life of the Indian passes and also various intricate issues related to individual and family life. Mistri's fiction is rooted in the streets of Bombay, and his characters are coloured with rich Indian socio-cultural hue. His fiction is interesting for its balanced interplay of sad, stark and humorous elements within. Now let's understand about the travelogue, Running Water. In the travelogue, Running Water, Rohinto Mistri has given an account of his journey to Dharamshala and the experience that he gathered there. The author begins the narration in a nostalgic manner recounting his fascination for Dharamshala, where his uncle, Mr. Noraji, aunt, and cousins were living. In spite of his strong desire, he could not go there for a long time. In course of time, he left India and settled in Canada. Incidentally, he undertook a journey to Dharmashala once when he came back to India. Mistri narrates how he started from Delhi and reached Dharmashala in a rainy season. Reaching Dharmashala, he stayed in a hotel named Bagsu. Unfortunately, due to incessant rain, landslide, and strike of the electricity workers, there was neither running water nor electricity in entire Dharmashala. So, Mistri was supplied to candles and to buckets of water daily in the hotel. Next morning Mistri visited his uncle's home where he learned that the water pipeline to his uncle's house was not damaged. The separate pipeline only to his uncle's house was gifted to the grandfather of Mr. Noroji by the then British Deputy Commissioner as a sign of gratitude for saving the lives of hundreds of people during the devastating earthquake of 1905. The family had been using it since then. Mistri, along with his uncle, stood around Dharmashala. Mr. Noraji told the writer that in order to escape from Chinese atrocities, Dalai Lama fled to India for shelter and settled in Dharmashala in 1959. Later, his large number of his followers came over there. Gradually, the area transformed into a settlement of Tibetan refugees and also into a hub of Tibetan art, culture and philosophy. Dharmashala had thus changed over the years. Mistri saw all this and returned to his hotel. Power supply was restored in next couple of days. Later on Sunday, Mistri had an interesting experience. There was no employee in the hotel in the morning except the watchman. They too were busy watching the TV serial Ramayan, which was telecast every Sunday morning. Here, Mistri describes how the TV serial Ramayan had influenced the people throughout India during the days of its telecast. The serial came to an end after 76 episodes. The people wanted some more. In protest, People events started agitations disrupting normal life at many places. Hence, the remaining parts of the epic had to be filmed and the serial was telecast again. The viewers were so obsessed with the TV serial that they treated the actors in such a way as if they were real Ram and Sita. The then Congress party had used the actors even in their election campaign. However, the party lost the election. Thus, Mistri indirectly puts forward his view that Indian democracy is quite matured in its nature as well as dignified. 
Notes Dalai Lama is title given to the foremost spiritual leader of the Jalik school of Tibetan Buddhism. The Dalai Lama mentioned in Running Water is the 14th Dalai Lama of Tibet. His real name is Jetson Gyasto, born in 1935. He was selected as the 14th Dalai Lama in 1940. Due to Chinese aggression over Tibet in 1959, he fled to India and took shelter as a refugee. Dharmashala is the district headquarter of Kangra district in Himachal Pradesh in India. Until the British rule, Dharmashala was under the Katoch kingdom. Under the British, the area was a part of the undivided province of Punjab. The ancient name of Dharmashala was Bhagsu.